Good morning. I'm going to be showing you guys how I make one product stores for my e-com brands. And instead of telling you guys what to do, I figured I'd just do it in front of you live because this doesn't take me very long. And I take a lot of pride in the websites that I make. I'm just going to be walking you through how I do it, the websites I use, and my thought process behind it all. So without further ado, let's get into the actual process. Okay, fresh Shopify account, fresh pre-built store. Everything is brand new on your screen right now. If you are a beginner and you have not invested or gotten a free pre-built store yet, I highly suggest you do. It just speeds things up a whole lot. This is the one that I prefer. If you want a super beginner friendly and easy to use pre-built theme, you can get one from my Discord for free, link in the description. But this is the one that I prefer. So as you can see, this is the product that we're working with. This is a random product that I picked. I'm not actually selling this. I don't condone selling this. This is simply an example because yes, the product matters when it comes to your store and how good your product looks is essentially how good your store is going to look in reflection of that. So this pre-built theme in particular is a product page based theme. So everything, all the fill in the blanks are here. Now, the first thing that I do is come up with a brand name, Yokai. Awesome. Great. Now I need to make a logo. How do I do that? Canva. Extremely easy. I'll go to the design here and I'll look up what I want. So as you can see, I've already tested some, some kind of theories here. So I typed in my brand name in case they had something, they had nothing. So I typed in Japanese sword because it kind of matches the vibe. Now, when we scroll, we have a bunch of different options to choose from. A lot of people just make logos from scratch. Not the best way to do it. This is how I prefer to do it. One that really stood out to me was this one right here, Shuriken. Awesome. I'm going to change this to Yokai. Pretty simple, right? I'm going to get rid of this at the bottom. I don't need it. Now, a lot of people would just leave it at this, but we're not quite done yet. We have to establish the main theme color of our website and know we're not just going to pick at random. Here's what we're going to do. This is our first product image. It's extremely important. You have to pick a very, very good first product image. As you can see, there are a few colors going on here. We got blue in the middle. We got a light gray, then we got a darker gray. Now this is simply preference. You have to pick the color that stands out the absolute most to you, your favorite color out of your product image, and you have to capture it somehow. My capture method of choice is a screenshot, a little cube. I like this dark gray. I'm going to use this dark gray. So I'll go back to my logo, paste that little little snippet I just got, and this will be my main theme color. Almost black, not quite dark gray. So, instead of this being red, which would make absolutely no sense, I'm going to change it to this grayish color right here. And this is now going to be my logo. A lot of people tend to overcomplicate logos a lot. You guys tend to forget that you can make a logo again. You can redo your logo. This is just a simple beginner logo. Don't have to put too much thought into it. Just make sure it doesn't look terrible. So just to establish a foundation for our website, we're going to upload that just like this. And it's done in our website. It's a cube logo and not a rectangle logo. So we don't have to mess with the formatting at all. And I think this size is a little bit too big. So we're going to put it down to 100. And that's perfect. Save. Now, remember this color that we established earlier, this kind of dark gray. It is not only used in the logo, but also on all of the accents on this website. In this template in particular, you have white, black, and one other color. And that's how a lot of pre-built websites are going to be. This one in particular right now is white, black, and blue. This blue makes no sense. And neither does any other color now except for this dark gray. So all we're going to do is go to our theme settings, our colors, and we're going to change every single scheme that uses this blue to the color code of this dark gray, which is going to be this color code right here. Really easy, boom, outline button, boom, that's done. Scheme five, boom, button label, boom. That's all, that easy, we got it. And now already our entire website is coming together. As you can see, just the top part right here is already looking half decent. Now another quick thing that I like to do is Again, in the theme settings, scroll down, go to media, change the border thickness to zero and the corner radius preference a little, a little over halfway up is what I usually do. It just rounds all the edges to the media. Cool, right? So now you're probably saying, Adam, the color coordination is done, correct? Wrong, because what else are you going to have on your website that uses color? Not text. Text is just going to be black or white, right? But 
we have emojis as you can see these are just default right now we still have to change them but emoji color matters too so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to go to emojipedia.com and i'm just going to type in gray and it's going to give me some gray emojis so a rock yeah nice we're going to go here and change this liquid emoji to a rock not going to mess with the text yet we just want to establish the color now there are better gray emojis for sure than the ones it gave us but I like the rock and the heart. I'm not going to use white hair. So we just have to find a middle emoji now. I'm going to try gray with a E. We have a skull that's similar. Not going to use a donkey. A skull might just fit perfectly. Or actually, look at that. Chains. Chains are even nicer. Boom, boom. Save now. And I'm telling you guys, it's the little things that really matter. The emojis match. How cool is that? Now our entire website is color matched to a T. The next thing that I'm going to do is a little bit picky, but it's small things that you guys need to be doing in your stores to make them stand out. Watch this. I'm gonna exit here. I'm going to go to my default theme content. First of all, obviously you need to be removing power by Shopify. Here, spacebar, save. But two things that I like to do. Add to cart button. I change it something a little bit different place in cart and of course the most important button the one that gives you money pay now i like to change it to place order pay now sounds sounds like you're getting robbed sounds like you're getting mugged you gotta pay me now that's not what we want the customer to feel we want them to feel comfortable so with that out of the way we can head back into our editor and now it's time for our copy and copy is extremely important and this may contradict with some older videos i've made but times change people grow i grow i learn and i'm here to say guys don't use chat gpt for your copy don't chat gpt all this yes it may be quicker maybe easier but it's losing you customers you need to learn how to write proper copy and build that human to human connection in your copy because your website is truly your website is truly your arsenal of selling points emotional points and everything in between and you, you really have to connect with your customer through your copy it's extremely important and we have neglected that recently when it comes to ai chat gpt and we can't do that anymore put in the extra work please with that being said i'm not going to write my fake review that's just I mean, that's a waste of time, right? So we can head to ChatGPT and we can say, pretty simple, right? Make sure your reviews have quotations. This is a little too long, so. This is good. I always bold and italicize my reviews, or I'm sorry, only italicize. And we just need a name, a place. Let's pretend I'm selling to the US, New York City. We can do not, don't do John, don't do Robert. Come up with something, something a little better. Blake, there you go. It's a bit better. Now we're on to the benefits. The main benefit, another headline talking about the product and another headline talking about the product. How do we go about doing this? Well, let's check out our keywords. I'm going to have this linked in the description for you guys to check out, but this is what I use when I'm making copy. Keywords to use when building exclusivity, keywords to use when building high perceived value, keywords to build curiosity, keywords to create FOMO, keywords to build trust, urgency, social proof, everything. These are the words that you guys need to be using or trying your best to be using, including as many as you possibly can in your copy. This is a lot better than ChatGPT and it actually helps you learn real world skills, right? So let's get into it. Here's how I do it. Main benefit one. This is the first one the customer is going to see. So it has to be the, the most important. It has to resonate with them the absolute most. This is a little bit difficult because it's a necklace, but nonetheless, it's possible. Let's think about this necklace. Let's think about what this necklace does. This is an anime necklace. I don't watch anime, but I know that the, the, the fan base is extremely passionate. They care a lot about anime. So perhaps they care a lot about who they're buying it from. So I already have it, right? Genuine quality from genuine enthusiasts. Why is this good? Well, it's showcasing that the product is quality. It's it's you know it's a, it's made of good material. It doesn't break. But on top of that, to make it less boring, it's coming from genuine enthusiasts because, like I said, anime is a very passionate fan base. So 
they care who they're buying from. They don't want to be buying from somebody who's making this store just to squeeze some money out of them when they don't even know anything about anime. So we want to make it clear that the people they're buying from are just like them so they can resonate with the seller, resonate with you. And I know we're not going to chat GPT the body. We're going to come up with it. Let's do something like this. Too many anime brands sell replicas without having ever watched an anime in their life. Crazy, right? Rest assured, we practice what we preach or what we sell. You can be sure that every pendant you purchase is a one-on-one -on -one quality replica or your money back. Now that pretty much speaks for itself, but I wrote that, not AI. It's extremely human and this is what I mean when I say resonate with the customer. They will resonate with this. Now we need another benefit, something a little less powerful than the first, but still nonetheless important. We do not want to be wasting space. So let's say something like, our anime pendants aren't quite like the rest. Yokai is your number one vendor for premium anime pendants. Alloy metals are used in pretty much all of our pendants, making them worth every penny. No cheap materials around these parts. Let's add a period on there too for fun. Let's break this down. Again, extremely human. Like you can tell that AI just can't write this. This was typed by a human being. People can read you, read me through this, especially down here i'm selling to america this is a very american sentence no cheap materials around these parts ai is not writing that let's be honest at least not not yet now we need a third and final headline and i think i know exactly what i'm going to do for this one referring back to our sales keywords i really want to create fear of missing out or exclusivity or high perceived value so i think i'm going to go with a urgency fomo high perceived value based restock message that is going to indirectly make the customer want to buy a little bit quicker. And I don't see a lot of people doing this. You guys think all three of your benefits have to be like, it works so well. This is why you should really buy it. But it can be a bit more casual than that. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. Frequent restocks. Now let's read through this. Because people love our pendants so much, so freaking much, we run out a lot. Womp womp. But don't be worried if a pendant you like isn't on the site right now. We are frequently restocking and shipping up pendants every day. Let's do every single day. Every single day. Now, let's break this down. A lot of you guys are so scared to think outside the box, type outside the box, and be an actual human. We tend to forget people like humor. People like laughing. People like when you don't take things very seriously as long as you find that balance between professionalism, being an actual business, and resonating getting down to your customer's level. So in this case, you know, if you're selling a healthcare product, something that's going to help somebody in need, maybe you don't want to say things like womp womp, but when you're selling to anime fans, to a fan base, you know, I, you know what they're like. They're, they're goofy people. They're funny, usually pretty cool dudes or girls. They're going to laugh at something like we were not a lot womp womp. So you have to know your customer. You can't generalize everybody because everybody every audience you sell to is going to be different so you have to talk speak type in a different way so this is going to be our third little benefit here benefit it's also creating fomo urgency because this is implying that we sell out a lot which also helps our credibility at the same time i'm going to leave the 30-day guarantee the exact same not much going on there and me personally i don't include this with this theme not my thing. So what we're going to do is go ahead and go on over to the product page that we found and we're going to try some, we're going to try to find some other variants to hopefully find some other images that we can use on the other parts of our website. So for example, this is perfect, but pro tip, never download the images from here. Scroll down a little bit and you'll see them in full quality right here. So I like this one a lot. We only need three. So let's do one, two, and then I want to find a bit of a different angle. This one's good. Three. Awesome literally that easy we're just going to go in order here so as you can see we have three different angles here for our customers to see as well as these three these pictures up here should never be the same as the ones down here big mistake and the ones down here should never be the same as the ones up here so let's come up with three short little benefits here again don't overthink it make it very human very very professional so automatic domino placement doesn't exactly line up with this product so let's say we can kind of build off of our benefits down here that we ex expanded on quite a bit. So the three most important things that I want the customer to know, I want them to know that the quality is good. That's extremely important. It will not break. 
So if you head on over to our sales keywords here, let's look at high perceived value, premium, luxury, cutting edge. I like premium. So yeah, let's do this. Premium. Premium quality. That's what I want them to know. What about the next one? It's a chain emoji, so we have to make it something a little bit similar. Perhaps something about the actual chain. I believe this chain is stainless steel, so let's go ahead and caption it. Stainless steel chain. Nice, right? And the heart insinuates caring, love, something like that. So I want them to know that their package, uh, their order, their necklace, their pendant, whatever is going to be handled with care. So, very, very simple. Why don't we just do track shipping, right? How complicated is that? Not very. Now the benefits are done. So now all that's left is this little section here and the FAQ. Now the FAQ is pretty self-explanatory. I feel like it doesn't really need a tutorial. Of course, this theme has three down here, kind of pre-built questions, but these three my go-to strategy would just be think of the three cons of your product three of the biggest cons or things that people would think about in order to not buy your product put yourself in the customer's shoes and think okay why would i not buy this and then essentially try to convince them to you know work around that problem or how to solve that problem before they buy the product and you should be just fine so let's go ahead and fill this out a lot of people that use this theme or sections like this, leave it at why people love our product. And you guys have to stop using broad words. Our product. Let's do just the brand name. Why people love Yokai. And of course, you cannot forget to be consistent with the trademark symbol. So let's come up with three reasons, again, not using AI. I decided to reiterate the shipping time because that's what a lot of people are kind of worried about. So I said, Yokai is located out of a US warehouse, allowing all orders to be slapped with a tracking number within three days so they can arrive at your doorstep in seven to 14 days. Those shipping times are accurate. Make sure yours are accurate as well or else you're asking for refunds. Gotta be consistent with this trademark logo. And notice the, the language that I'm using slapped with a tracking number ai is not going to write that it's going to say allowing all orders to be placed and shipped with a tracking number within three days and it's robotic so let's come up with a second one i decided to go with something a bit unique and a bit new which is your best party trick and i laid out a scenario here which is imagine this the next time you and your friends are enjoying an episode of dracum i don't know how to pronounce that i don't want to butcher it but it's the anime that this product is based in you unsheath your pendant to show a 101 dagger replica. Now, if you did this at any other party, you would probably get bullied. But in this particular sense, perhaps the customer can resonate with it. Now, of course, we have to make sure the bolding stays consistent. And boom, that's the second one right there. Let's think of the third. So I decided to go with something a bit new that I haven't touched on yet. Versatile style. The way it looks. So I said, whether you're dressing up for a cosplay event or adding a touch of anime flair to your daily outfit, your yokai necklace is designed to complement any look. Again, keep the bolding consistent. And with that being said, aesthetically speaking, we now have a very well set up one product store on this theme with full copy, purposeful copy, high quality product images, and again, extremely aesthetic features perfect color scheme and if you want to see how it looks on the actual internet although this is optimized for mobile this is what we're looking at here right it's beautiful it looks extremely good this is how i set up my one product stores if you want tutorials on actual pricing because this it doesn't even have a price again this is a this is an example product if you want a tutorial on offers pricing and perhaps even an FAQ if you guys are confused about that. Let me know and I will make that for you. But this was just live how I do it, how I make my one product stores. And I, I really hope this helped a lot of you guys, a lot of beginners out there. Thank you for taking your time to watch this video. See ya.